namaste welcome ladies it's anita tanavarthi your acupuncturist friend and today we are here on day six of your fertility journey with me and every day for seven days i'm going to present with you a simple acupressure point that you can do you can mix and match these if you like a particular one and you feel that it's working for you then stay on top of it till you get to where you want to be and these points are very helpful for unexplained fertility if you're going through treatment with your doctor with iui or i IVF, or if you are a younger woman and you're trying to regulate your cycle, or if you're struggling with regulating your cycle with PCOD or PCOS, or if you're on the other end and you are in your 50s and you're doing your best around about your cycle. Well, in any of these cases, this set of points that I'm about to share with you, and again, you know that I treat in zones because I feel that we can holographically cover more area, which can help you. The points that I'm gonna share with you today can help you in two ways. And again, my goal here is to help you regulate your cycle so you can identify your fertility window so that you may conceive. In addition, so many times in clinic, I hear from patients that their uterine lining is not as thick for implementation of the embryo to occur. So I'm going to do my best to also give you points that are going to enrich your uterine lining with blood so that you can either shed a cycle or you can enjoy that rich nutrient uterine lining to help you with implementation of an embryo. So with that, what is the set of points? Well, I'm going to share with you on little Anita first. Um, my name is, is Anita. So what is the point? Well, let me show you and I'll show you on my leg is that we are going on the medial aspect of the lower leg and we can do either leg. And so what meridians are we trying to access? We are trying to assess the kidney the spleen and also the liver meridians and they are all on the medial aspect of the foot and the reason why we are doing our very best to access those meridians is because that the kidney meridian in Chinese medicine has to do with essence it has to do with the congenital ability to help you along your life's journey so we want to stimulate that the spleen meridian in chinese medicine balances out the stomach meridian which actually governs the uterus so we want it to be rich of movement so that it can build the blood for the uterine lining and the liver meridian is very helpful in governing FSH, LH, estrogen and progesterone, which are all hormones that you need on your fertility journey. Not to mention the liver meridian also can help be very helpful to reduce stress, reduce cortisol, help you sleep so that when that is better balanced, you have more available resources for fertility. The body is very intelligent. It's only going to help you with conception and with pregnancy if it knows that it's balanced in other ways. So let me show you on me how you do the point. What I want you to do is I want you to grab a dry brush You can go to the second link in the link tree and you can grab this brush and you can do these set of points in the shower or before or after the shower you choose what's best for you and what you're going to do this is the kidney meridian this is the spleen meridian and this is the liver meridian it is important to note that the liver meridian is on the tibial crest and then the spleen meridian is in the middle part between the tibial crest and also the kidney meridian so again Kidney meridian is the most medial, then next to it is spleen meridian, and then next to it is the liver meridian. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the dry brush and you're gonna simply massage it just like this for a couple minutes, couple times a day. And you're, once you do that, you're gonna also do the other leg. Now, as far as the holographic imaging is concerned, the uterus is right here but also the uterus goes from the ankle all the way to the knee. So by doing a little bit of dry brushing, a couple minutes, a couple times a day, you are able to stimulate blood flow to help you 
have a more thickening uterine lining. So I want you to do that to both legs. So I want you to do this set of acupressure points with dry brushing till you get three regular cycles. And then I want you to stop when you are pregnant. Of course, work with the recommendations of your physicians. And I wish you all the best from your acupuncturist friend, Anita Tadavarthi, on your fertility journey. Mm -hmm.